Welcome to the Artie Lang Show. With me is the author of this book, How to Beat Anybody Up, one of the funniest books I've ever read, and very, very helpful, very instructional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, please welcome, of course, Judah Friedlander, the world champion. Judah, what's up? Thank you, Artie. Uh, it's good to see you. And uh, you are a true comedian. How's that? Well, I was just watching your guy's show, and it's uh, past midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's technically Wednesday, right. and you're just starting to read Tuesday's paper. <laughs> you see, that is the life of a true comedian. It's, true. it's I, like you sleep in, yeah. or you had to get up early, but then you sleep in anyways, and you know, you're just getting around to it. And I get the newspapers delivered, which is even more odd. Like I, I skim through stuff where I think the most jokes may happen. This is sports show, so I like, I like the sports stuff. Page six is always good for, you know, Pop culture. Look, no, I, read, I read the Post <laughs> and then the Daily News. Yeah, that's what I know. I get the New York Times to seem credible. Mm. But yeah, you're right. And I'm reading this, of course, this intriguing article. I don't know if you know, Jennifer Aniston likes to play against type. Really? Now, you've been in a film with her. You're in, you're in Along Came Polly. That's right. That's and right. she did an episode of 30 Rock. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they initially, in the, in, the, in, the, in the first draft, there was like a scene where she's like all flirty with me and stuff, and we had a little storyline. Really? And then oh. they rewrote it, and that was completely gone. <laughs> <laughs> now, and the uh, producer said, Judy, that had nothing to do with it. Along just... Came Polly is you and <laughs> Kevin Hart, right? Yeah, me. You're Philip yeah. Seymour Hoffman. Oh, I, I got a funny story about that movie. Yeah, no, th but th it's interesting. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman plays uh, Ben Stiller's uh, obnoxious brother who hires two camera guys, Cameron and Sam guy yeah to follow him around and right. make an each hollywood story well, to make it look like the like right. each channel is doing a documentary and it's about you and it. kevin hart yeah i'm right. the video guy kevin's the sound guy and uh so we had the exact same size part on the movie and uh it was a lot of fun doing it and i remember one day we're both walking out of our trailers and kevin uh has a bouquet of flowers that's about as tall as kevin hart Right, well, it's not that yeah, tall, yeah. but he's, you know, not the tallest guy. Yeah, but it's an over five foot, right. you know, bouquet of flowers. And then and then on the other side of him is a gift basket that's like three feet tall. <laughs> I'm like, wow, dude, who, who's a secret admirer? And he's like, he's like, oh, uh, this one's uh, from my manager. And I'm like, oh, wow, I should get a manager. I don't have a manager. I need a manager. And then I'm like, well, then, then who's, who's that bouquet of flowers from? He's like, oh, that's from my agent. I'm like, who's your agent? And he's like, UTA. I'm like, that's my agent, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have anything. Oh, that is odd. They didn't send you a thing. Yeah. And they sent him something. Yeah. That, that is odd. Yeah. Were you hurt by that? Yeah, that's No, it just, it just summed up basically my career, pretty much. You know, where it's basically, but it's always been that way for me. And I didn't get paid. And then I was on, we were both on there for about, like, five weeks. It is, if you watch the movie, pretty much the exact same part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you... Uh, uh, but we we both filmed about five weeks, and after the third week, I noticed that everyone was getting a paycheck every week, and I was never getting one. <laughs> I didn't get paid until about three months after that movie. Why? Finished. I don't know. I'm just. You know. <laughs> did they try Kevin, to get? A, did, Kevin's got his act together. He well, knows what he's doing. <laughs> Clearly, did they try to get away with not paying you? Did they think maybe you wouldn't notice? <laughs> no, I think it was just like an agency mess up because when I finally got my check, yeah. it said the uh, the agent's name on it, uh, and it was a guy who I. Not only did I never meet, I never even heard of his name. <laughs> so then one day I called my agency. I'm like, "Hey, uh, I want to speak to uh, Alex." And they're and then uh, and and they're like, "Why?" I'm like, "Well, it, he's on my paycheck here. It says he's my agent, so I figure I should probably at least talk to him since I've I've never met him." <laughs> <laughs> so initially, yeah. when I went with him, I was signed with someone, and then I guess at, at some point they just said, "I." Without telling me, you're with another agent. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes comics, they get lost in the shuffle. I can remember, this had to be like 17 years ago. Me and Todd Barry both did a set together at Stand Up New York on the Upper West Side. And uh, I had a car. I drove him home. I drove him back down to the Lower East Side. I was going back. You drove Todd Barry home? I, I did, yeah. And I was, he did was, Todd enjoy the ride? Or I was had a little too bumpy? Well, I had to go back in hey, the... Hey, Artie, there's a little too much... Uh... <laughs> A little too many, uh, you got some beef jerky wrappers on the floor of the car here. I don't really know if that's right. I, I had to go back into Jersey, and I took him to the Lower East Side. So he's talking about his agent who was UTA at the time, and he said something funny. He had the same thing. He goes, he goes, uh, he goes uh, my agent was UTA at the time as well. Yeah. He, goes, he goes, who's your agent, man? And I said, uh, UTA. He goes, he goes, oh, yeah, do they, do they call you back over there? <laughs> and I said, uh, I guess they call me back. He goes, yeah, uh, I can't get them on the phone. I go, what do you mean? They're not, you know, they're, they're not there when you call? He goes, no, I think it's even worse than that. He goes, I think they have a caller ID. And it says, 
That's that's Todd Barry. We're not picking up the phone. <laughs> he thought that they didn't. They, they knew it was him and, do. Did, and did they, not pick up. The they phone. probably do. I was yeah, with well, them six months. I was yeah, with them six uh, months. Yeah, comedians yeah. sometimes get pushed pushed aside. Yeah, but you were in a major movie with Jennifer Aniston. And, yeah, uh, but I was never like. I was always like. To me, most agents and managers like I'm not the guy they want to rep. Like to me, like to me, most agents. Well, you made a lot of money though. Yeah, yeah, but 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 I'm just saying in general. If you look mm -hmm. at the big picture, when most agents and managers, to me, they really want to represent the 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 uh, archetypical like movie star. Like they want to rep a Brad Pitt. Okay, they want, you know, you know, it's like but that can backfire because a lot of guys like us could write and create a television yeah, show, yeah. No, which that's is true. billions that's true. of dollars. But I'm saying if you just look at like look at like early in the career before I've like gotten right done some stuff. Sure, like. Why are, is an agent going to even take any interest in me? They, <laughs> they, 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 they want, they like, I'm like a guy like the industry sometimes needs, yeah. but they're not necessarily the, what, what they want. You know, right. they, they want someone who uh, looks like the movie star, acts like the movie star, lives that that lavish lifestyle. You know, right. if it's just like a regular guy. They're well, like, because they, I think they want to leech off that life. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? And, and even, uh, you know, even if guys, I guess, get the get the fortune and right. the fame. We don't have a life that they necessarily want right, to lead Right, because you lead a regular life. It's like yeah, no, you know, an, agent, an agent wants to, like, be going off to, you know, festivals on exotic islands. Or a yacht, a yacht in they Belize. Don't wanna, they don't, right, they don't want to go hang out in Hoboken or hang out or in the, Queens. Or, 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 or when they book me on the road in Minneapolis at the ha-ha-ha. Yeah, ha, ha, yeah, exactly. They don't want to come there yeah, either. Exactly. I mean, well, I got to go, I got to fly there to make the money. Yeah. Oh, it aggravates the hell out of me. Yeah. Uh, but Shetty's going. But Shetty's doing a great thing. He's going to L.A. on his own. I mean, literally on his own. Uh, the, the, well, it's a perfect time because pilot season just ended three months ago. <laughs> so, perfect. Time. Like the last week of August, he's going out there. Explain to Judah because Judah's a good friend of yours. Judah's oh yeah, always, I talked. He's to him always today, been good I, to you, right? He's a good man. Oh yeah, we know each other. Now, what, what, explain to him your game plan because I I don't want you to waste a trip. Do you, you know what you're doing out there? Yeah, yeah, I'm going out there. Judah knows uh, Matty Goldberg. He's a good friend of me for a long time. I don't know so, if I know Matty Goldberg. Who is <laughs> I thought, really, he's a huge fan he's of He's taking a stab that you know somebody named Matty Goldberg. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, 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 no. It no, sounds no. like, you know, if, like, it sounds like if there's a computer program to, like, what is an agent's name? And, and you enter that in the computer, it would spit out Matty Goldberg. But this is a performer, I think. Is no, it Matty it's Goldberg? A comic. He, he, I know it's like about well, the second years. choice would be a comic. Okay. He's, uh, okay. He's lives in Los. I keep screwing it. Los Feliz. Yeah, Los Feliz. Uh, they actually it, pronounce it Los Feliz, but it, it's spelled like Los Feliz. Yeah. I, I thought it was Los Felix, like Felix the Cat. I wasn't really sure. Well, don't go say that out there. Okay, sorry. No, no, no I'm sorry. Uh, no, he's just been a friend for a long time, and his sister's like a successful writer. I'm gonna stay with him. I'm doing a show at a place called The Copper Still. Uh, it was really good. We had a great show last time out there. I want to try to line some more stuff up and see if I can meet with some people out there when I'm out there. Is he going to be able to give you a ride? Uh, he has people to drive, but neither one of us drive. But you're uh, going out Neither there. one of you drive. I'm living in L.A. <laughs> He's so listen. This he's should going, be filmed. Listen, this should be filmed. He's going to <laughs> <laughs> film. This but Judah, is the best pilot pitch no, I've ever heard. Judah, listen to this. <laughs> he's going to Los Angeles by himself to stay with a guy who doesn't drive. Yeah. Mike doesn't drive. I know. And they don't have anything set up except one uh, spot at uh, like an open mic club. Oh uh, no, this is a cool place. It's like uh, it was in. Uh, I forgot they call it Korean Town, but I don't really know the name of it. Korean town? Yeah, it's Korea that. town. Korea yeah. town. Yeah, also but you're gonna, town. Are you gonna try to? You're, so what, you're gonna try to set stuff up? How? Uh, he's gonna he's he's booked something for us actually out there already. What is it? Uh, we're doing a comedy show in this room. It was fun. We sold it out last time. Right. So what do you plan on go, doing from that though? Just you know making some cash, getting some maybe inviting some people out that know us out there. You know, uh, like like who? Uh, well, Brock's going to definitely come back, he said. Uh, maybe some people from DirecTV. We're trying to get uh, Chris Long to see us to come out. What can Brock do for you? Uh, maybe he'll shoot stuff when we're out there. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you, but you, do you, you don't have representation. No, but uh, hopefully I will soon. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I talked to Judah today. I got to get my reel finished. But it, you talked to Judah today? Yeah. Uh, About yeah. your reel? Yeah, I, yeah I, you got to get that finished. We've been talking about that for months. And yeah, I, no, I, I get those problems, too. I can't find the right person to, to edit it, really. I, I talked to Katz, and he's, like, busy, you know. Katz? A friend of ours <laughs> that we worked with together, yeah. Oh. 
Jason cats, not, uh, not like the animal cats. <laughs> 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 like, I talk to cats. I've been talking to kittens <laughs> about editing my piece. Uh, no, but I got some good stuff on there, and that's what they want to see, a reel today. They want to but, how lo- but how long is the reel? Is this what you call your sizzle reel? No, no, it should be like five minutes, I think. I right? think, Mike, this is what I should do. You've done a lot of different projects, and everything's online now. So uh, the movie Chooch you did, you pick, oh, yeah. you pick a, a two-minute clip from there, a one-minute clip from there, and that's on the website. Bam. You know, you, then you take take a two to three minute uh, compilation reel from this show. You put that on there. I guess Bam. Some great stuff and, then, on uh, and then put uh, two minutes of your stand up and another clip. Bam. You know, and there you go. Just organize the, the what's on there. Yeah, and just get it online, man. And you just say, you emailed the people. Yeah. I got I got something Jason did, but some stuff I, I don't like. Well, my God. Well, if you don't like it, I mean that's another issue. I mean no, but he, we had some stuff I did. Uh, we, what don't you like? It's just, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, uh, what stuff I did was was before, this was called the Artie Lang Show, you know what I mean? I don't want to... So? I don't know. It, it's me getting shot in the face with a dart. That's one thing they got. So you don't want that. that on it? Well, if you, look, Mike, if you don't like that, then don't put no, it on I there. Thought it, I thought it was really, really funny, but then... But it's kind of uh, just you sitting there. It's not you doing anything. They're not reading some... No, but the thing <laughs> is that... Uh, the people who work... Scrub, I, think, I think, Mike, I think this interview should be on your website. Yeah. What we're doing right now. Yeah, no, honestly, I think... Well, this should be the only clip. Well, like, why, I, but I, I love this. I love I love getting into Boschetti's logic. Why shouldn't the clip... If you don't like it, that's one thing, but why shouldn't the clip of you getting hit with the dart be on your sizzle reel? I don't know, because uh, Scott Pelley, who worked with me, Matt, said, uh, well, agents are gonna, aren't going to watch this. They're like, he's giving me all kinds of grief about it. I don't I don't know what they watch. Really. Well, maybe they won't watch it. Why, why, why won't they watch it? He didn't want to see you doing more you, stuff. Well, but, that's but, what I mean. It's you getting hit with a dart in the face. It, 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 he's right. It doesn't no, make no, any sense. No, but there's one thing that I love from the show. We did on a Friday. Uh, we had a football helmet on. That was awesome. I wanted to put that on there. Okay, so put it on there. Yeah, a couple of other things. Uh, yeah, I just got to find the right stuff. <laughs> I want them to go. What about the stuff? You know, it's very funny is some of the stuff you did with Judah. Yeah, I have that you on there. You can just put that on there. We yeah. actually, we actually did, Judah actually. Weren't got, you in some Louis C.K. shorts years ago? Yeah, but that, I don't know if to look at that now. That's. Dude, why not? He's like... It's yeah, no, so... it's, it's good to show that you work with him. Yeah. No, you're right, because... No, I, 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 I saw the clip he's talking about. He is 400 pounds lighter in it. Yeah. No, but I, I saw I, it, too. I, uh, It's amazing. That shows I, range. That shows acting range. <laughs> <laughs> he can gain weight or lose no, weight no, for a role. It's true, but no, but I, I did something with Judah. If you was... give me 18 years, I will gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did something with Judah. He helped me with a lot. We, he was on Carson Daly, and I had, they showed a clip of us on that. Right. No, I know. I, I saw used to, you know, Judah had you do stuff that was great. Yeah, I mean, we did some great stuff. We were the weatherman, right? Oh, he's, he's world champion news reporter. The news reporter. That's yeah, right. he's the best journalist from Staten Island. <laughs> best journalist Staten Island's ever produced. We, well, we actually did Judah's book over there, and at, at over there. that was fun. <laughs> we did Judah's book over there. <laughs> book, book, uh, his book premiered. That was awesome. Now, now, Mike, do you plan on working on your accent at all for the acting career? No, if they I want. think it's. I think Mike is the kind of guy who might actually really stand out in L.A. Yeah, it's going back yeah. to what I was saying, how right. you're not a guy who agents want, but you're a guy that agents might need because it's you the- can fill roles that, you know, everyone who moves to L.A. is like, you know who has it harder in L.A.? People that are models because everyone oh, yeah. in L.A. is like a model. So, that, so if you're some, a character absolutely. on a different type, you actually might do well there. Pretty good it point. might be good. Pretty good point. But Someone had told me a long time ago, there was an actor and comic uh, named Chris Keys. Do you guys know him? No. He was like really good guy, but he was like a surfer type, and he lived in. That, and when I went out there the first time, he goes, a "What big, type? Surfer type guy, like a big guy." Oh, oh, oh. And he's like, "You're gonna have it easier out here than me." I go, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "There's 10 million of me out here." He goes, "There's only one of you." Wow, there you go. So why don't you do it? So then, and you took that advice and you moved back here. No, but I didn't have the right people. But it also is having the right people working with you out there. It's but you don't viable. have the right people. Working no, that's why I never went back there because you need to be connected majorly out there. Right. So what is your game plan? How, how but do you... right now you don't have those connections. So no. I, I think you should work on, on your profile online with your with your reel before maybe going oh, yeah. out there. But I, I just want to go out there for a vacation too. I love. All right, that. Oh, well that's yeah. another story. Yeah. <laughs> We're bugging him with work. He's like, guys, whoa, put I, the brakes on this. I want to get a tan. I just want to do a spot, but I was thinking about doing a mini documentary. I want to go by the Sunset Marquee and have a pina colada. You should just do videos of you with a pina yeah. colada at a pool. Just I, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was you want to do a documentary? Like a mini one, like Mike versus the machine. You know, shoot with Brock and stuff, and you know, have some fun out there with him. When do you plan on, you know, getting this together? 
Uh, you can do it with an, with an iPhone now. I mean, you know, it's pretty easy. Well, you got do you have an it. iPhone, Mike? I just got on. Actually, I'm so excited. I just, Mike, do you have an iPhone? Yeah, iPhone 5. I just got on Vine. Oh. And I'm like, yeah. So wait a minute. So you, so it, it's, you know, this is in three weeks. So you're just going to go out there and shoot a documentary with your iPhone. No, we, we, it helps enough to be nothing spectacular, just like different places. You know, we'll, <laughs> Again, well, put the brakes on. It doesn't have to be nothing spectacular. <laughs> I, I'm very sporadic. <laughs> sporadic? <laughs> Erotic and it's sporadic. Be, com- <laughs> not, comedy should be sporadic. It should sporadic. Be sporadic. <laughs> no, actually, comedy, also are comedy should be sporadic. <laughs> comedy should be sporadic. You're right. All right. When we come back, we'll talk more with Mike and Judah and uh, some different things. Uh, Judah, what do you got coming up, Judah? Uh, Rochester, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's right. The comedy club at Daisy Dukes. Nice. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Rock, Daisy Dukes in Rochester? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And we're going to talk a little bit about something maybe that's uh, close to a comedian's heart, the check spot. Judah has a cause here that I'm very much for, doing a check spot at a club. It's when you try to do stand-up when they give the people at their tables their checks and they find out they've been paying $11 for a rolling rock. You try to get laughs over that. Okay. Uh, we'll be back with the Artie Lang Show. Please. 